Hello, welcome back. Uh, we have a real world problem here. I'm sure everybody has used a hammer before. In this problem, it says a hammer strikes a nail and it's initially going seven meters per second. It hits a nail, moves it one centimeter. We know the mass of the hammer. We know the one centimeter. We know the initial velocity. And they didn't tell us this, but we can figure out the final velocity. If you swing a hammer and hit a nail, the final velocity is zero. So that's what we know. Given that alone, we need to figure out how much time did it take for that hammer to go from seven meters per second to zero when it only traveled one centimeter? And what was the average force? Okay, there's a bunch of different ways to solve this one. Um, if you try and solve this before you watch the video, you might come up with a completely different way to solve it, yet still get the same answer. Okay, I'll show you how I did it. First, I use this thing called the impulse momentum theorem. Uh, some people use a J for impulse, some people use an I. I don't like to use an I. That's moment of inertia and current. So I use a J. Uh, so J is what I use for impulse and that's equal to a change in momentum. What that means is impulse is the average force times time. Change in momentum is going to be our mass of the hammer times its change in velocity. All right, well the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to find the average force. So I knew that force was mass times acceleration. They told us the mass great, but I didn't know the acceleration, so I went back to my formulas from week one, the kinematics formulas, because I knew the final velocity of the hammer, boom, is zero. I knew the initial velocity is seven, because they told me so. I don't know the acceleration, but when I do, I can multiply that by mass, and I know the average force. So I knew the displacement that it traveled, put it into this formula, v final squared equals v initial squared plus 2ad, and I solve for an acceleration, that is a lot of acceleration. I got 2,450 meters per second squared. Plugged that into Newton's second law that says force is equal to mass times acceleration. I know the mass, I know the acceleration, boom, I got the force. Then I put that back into the formula for the impulse momentum theorem. I know the force, I know the mass, I know how much the hammer changes its velocity. The only thing I didn't know was time. So I took the mass times the change in velocity, divided by the average force, and I got a time of only three thousandths of a second. And I thought, does that make sense? That seems awfully fast. Well, yeah. When a hammer goes from seven meters per second to zero in um, one centimeter, it's going to happen real fast. And by that time, I already knew the average force was 1,102.5 newtons. All right, um, if you found an alternative way to solve that, uh, go ahead and log in and type that in because other people might be interested in finding out how you solved it. That's just how I set it up. All right, I'll see you in the next problem.